Hello, my name is Diane Sellers. I'm a speech and language therapist at Chaley Clinical Services in Sussex in the UK. I'm going to give you um, a quick overview of the development of the mini EDAX uh, for children with cerebral palsy from aged 18 months to 36 months. It's a modification of the existing EDAX that was published in 2014. In order to help you understand the work that we did, I'm going to present a very brief PowerPoint and talk to that uh, for your information. So I'm just going to share my screen. So the mini EDAX is an adaptation of the eating and drinking ability classification system, which describes the full range of eating and drinking ability of people with cerebral palsy in a five level ordinal scale. It uses the key features of safety and efficiency in order to do that. And alongside that, there is a three level ordinal scale, which describes the assistance required in bringing food and drink to the mouth. Age ranges from three years to adulthood. This is an overview of the eating and drinking ability classification, the, the general headings from level one through to level five and the clinical algorithm that underpins those levels. And this is the levels of assistance required to so that three level ordinal scale, ranging from somebody who is independent, uh, requires assistance or is totally dependent on another to bring food and drink to the mouth. The questions that we had at the start of the project is how do young children with cerebral palsy eat and drink? And can new descriptions capture uh, learning of skills in that weaning period in five distinct levels? And will those new descriptions be reliable and easy to use? Our starting point was the longitudinal video and assessment data um, of children with cerebral palsy aged 18 to 36 months. There were 130 of those children held by researchers in Queensland, Australia. Uh, Kelly Weir and Kath Benfer applied EDAX, highlighting where the descriptions needed modification. Um, the modified EDAX content uh, was then um, drafted to uh, create the mini EDAX. The content was agreed by the project team. The sorts of changes that we needed to capture were that more food and fluid loss was expected for that younger age group, that limitations to selective oral movement were greater, uh, and that those young children different, used different drinking receptacles, whether that was uh, continuing to suckle from the breast, um, bottles or spouted cups. Uh, young children tended to use their hands rather than cutlery um, and more assistance was needed, but they tended to spit out food and explore food with their hands. It was much messier. Um, that the protective reflexes uh, were more apparent for new and challenging food textures. In the Delphi survey, we presented the content of mini EDAX in a series of statements to 89 expert stakeholders we asked them the extent to which they agreed with those different statements. Consensus was defined as more than 80% agreement across those stakeholders. Uh, we achieved that in the first round of the Delphi survey. Um, we made some very slight alterations to mini EDAX from the comments that were received and that they, those were agreed in round two. We then moved on to the reliability um, study uh, when we made some new mealtime videos supplemented with written information from parents. We recorded information for 43 children and these are the demographics of the children included in the study. What we found was that speech and language therapists found many EDAX easy to use, that the levels describe children's eating and drinking um, that it wasn't always easy to apply mini EDAX to video recordings because the food and fluid textures um, weren't, there wasn't a sort of full range on view, that the therapist thought that it would be easier to use um, in a clinical context with more knowledge of the child. So whilst the uh, reliability data was uh, showed that it was broadly reliable, 
uh, for both the five level scale and the three level ordinal scale. Um, our conclusion was that further psychometric properties need um, investigating. We thank uh, the children and families from Nuevo Amanecer, Kikedi Ghana, Multi Kids Ghana, Centro Inquilibrio Brianza, and Cerebral Palsy Lanka Foundation in Sri Lanka. Um, Mini Edax is free to download from the dedicated webpage at www.edax.org, as well as in the supplementary information linked to this article and podcast. Thank you.